Hello, this is the video review for Transformers Prime Cyberverse RC. Today I have a little bit of a different setup, but I'll be returning to normal soon. This is RC. She's a pretty neat looking bike. I do like the way it looks, but it does have some problems. The wheels are all fine, but if you look, see the rear wheel doesn't uh, go all the way down. You can make it go all the way down. But then, well, normally what would happen is if you bring it down far enough that both wheels have contact with the floor, what would happen is that the inside of her feet here would uh, prevent it from rolling like, like this. But one thing I did is, if you look inside of here, you can see some, I guess you'd call them scratch marks from where I carved out some plastic. It was pretty easy to do, I just took some time to do it, but that makes it so that you can, in fact, get her to roll on the ground. It's not the cleanest mod, and honestly, I'm not really a big fan of her bike mode because she has a problem to begin with, because even after doing this mod, it's still, well, the problem with the bike mode is that nothing really pegs in, like this peg right here, right there, it... It's very loose. Everything just kind of sits in position, and that's it. Nothing is really that solid. To transform her is pretty simple. I do like your transformation. It's very clever and well designed, even if not well executed. You will bring her legs down, split them, fold this wheel in from the top, and this wheel in from the bottom. I like how, even though... The way each leg transforms is, it's not symmetrical, it's asymmetrical. The way they transform is asymmetrical, they end up being symmetrical in the end. And then what you do is you will take her bike seat, split it apart, bring it up, fold back this um, the front of the bike, and then fold her arms down. And this is RC in robot mode. Her head looks very nice. I think it's one of the better uh, Cyberverse heads. And for the most part, the mold looks pretty good. The proportions are a little bit off, but it's not too bad. The biggest problem I have with this figure is that, for one... Well, it, it, it's this whole backpack here. It has a, a whole compound of issues. Like, for one, these wings are just a bit too big. And I feel like they could have been sculpted smaller, and the bike still would have looked fine. Second of all, this piece doesn't really plug in. So, as I'm holding her and playing with her, what will happen is it'll start creeping up over her head like this. Because this is the only place where, holding her naturally, it'll stay. Because if it's all the way down, like this... Pulling her naturally will push it back up, so I wish there was some sort of locking mechanism there, but for how tiny she is, and for how neat, clever her transformation is, I can't fault her too much on that. She's not as good as Cyberverse Cliff Jumper, but she's not horrible. For articulation, you can rotate around at the shoulder like this. You can do a little bit of a motion like this if you need to. Legs go forward, back, out. And, they, and you bend at the knee. That's her articulation, and she can stand pretty well. Well, this is carpet, so I don't know. Well, there she stands. She stands pretty well. She'll stand in most poses. Even after you do this um, focus. Even after you do this mod to her feet. Even after you do that. She will still stand pretty well because it's really the tip of her foot that counts when getting her to stand. She comes with the same uh, Cyberverse gummy weapon as Bumblebee. And focus. She can hold it in her hand if it will go in. Well, she can hold it in her hand. It can plug in back here. And, yeah, I believe those are all the ports for the gun. Really, I don't... These guns are neat when you have a bunch of them, but otherwise I don't really care about them. But yeah, this is RC. Do I recommend her? She's okay. She's a nice 
small representation of Varsity. I think she looks pretty good. She's not that playable, but for the deluxe size figures, she basically is in scale with them. Whether it's a uh, first edition or R.I.D., basically she's in scale. It's not exact, but it's fairly close. So there is a reason to own her. Thank you for watching.